from Crafters Countdown. Thank you so much for joining me again today. We are going to do some 4th of July rocks and show you some of the texturizing backgrounds that you can do and also some of the things that you can do with some special tools. Now I showed you last month that we did some texturizing and I promised you that this month we'd show you how we did that. So stay tuned. The first thing we're going to show you is the tools. So these, you can find them online and in your craft stores. These are called stylus tools or dotting art tools. Um, they're for sale in the paper section, also in the polymer clay section, and um, of course in the nail art section. These are really useful for a lot of different crafts. So what they've got on there is a little metal ball that you can use to create different effects depending on what you're doing. Today we're going to be using this for dotting. So first let me show you the 4th of July rock that I started. I've got my flag here. Now if you go to use your brush to put the dots on the flags because these are, you know, there are going to be too many and too small to put individual stars on here even if you used one of your small pens, um, then if you use your paintbrush tip, what's going to happen is it'll they'll be, end up being all different sizes as it kind of mushes in. This really helps it to be a consistent size for you. Um, I use these for if I'm doing eyes, you know, I just want little dots or for backgrounds. Another option if you don't have one of these tools is oftentimes I will just use the back of my paintbrush and I'll dip my paintbrush back in the paint and then go like that and it'll create a dot. What you need to make sure you're careful of is that you wipe it off every once in a while because it will start to get a little bit sticky and create a glop on your artwork. So let me show you how we can use the stylus dotting tool to go ahead and put some artwork on this flag. You want to use a shallow paint container so that you're just transferring paint from the ball and not getting any paint dripping or oozing from your tool. For smaller dots, you can just quickly touch the stylus dotting tool to your art, and for slightly larger dots, you can hold it a second longer and give it a little wiggle. I wouldn't want my art to look machine made, but I love how these tools offer more size consistency in my work. One of the reasons we chose to feature the stylus or dotting tools in July is because they help make these fun fireworks. We're going to start with larger tools and work outward with the smaller. You may also notice that the more consecutive times you make a dot without reloading your tool with paint, the smaller the dots get. Remember that with fireworks, after the initial explosion, the embers begin to fall because of gravity. So as you work your way away from the center, try to place your dots in a falling pattern. We're going to repeat the process with the various colors for our 4th of July celebration.
that we've done a little bit of fireworks on this rock and now I didn't pre-paint this rock or anything. I used it was a really lovely rock that was a nice dark gray color. Um, this one was given a base coat first. So these are the different things that you can do with some of the fireworks. All right, now another great thing to do with those little tools is to create the mandalas. Now the mandalas, they look really complicated and I can promise you they're not. It's just a repeat pattern. What makes them a little bit complicating is that it takes a little while to do it. You need some patience. So we're going to go ahead and take another rock. If you're going to stick with a circular pattern, it's good to try to find a really round rock, but you can always go off in different directions. So um, let me show you how to get this done with our little stylus dotting tools. with the mandala that we've created here. Now you can add different shapes in here, certainly paint them with a brush, adding more colors. We're sticking to our 4th of July theme so that we can celebrate Independence Day with Crafters Countdown. But um, this is the mandala that I created. Now I wanted to show you one more thing. I talked about animal eyes and other things, but um, these are the hearts for the Kindness Matters and the Kindness Rock Project. and. We've just added some little dots around the edges here to give them just a little bit of depth and a little more character. So use your creativity and see what you can come up with. Now, I would love for you to show me these. We've got our Crafters Countdown Facebook page. So if you've got some great ideas that you use with your dotting tool or stylus tool, be sure and post pictures of those so that we can share them with everybody. All right. now. Last month, when we did the Father's Day countdown, I showed you some of the ways that um, we can add backgrounds and textures to the backs of our rocks. And you can mask something, which means to put something over it so you don't get the background on it as you're painting, or make sure that you go ahead and do your background texture first. 
So I wanted to show you some of the tools that we use to create different backgrounds on our rock. So one of the most common tools that people use are sponges. You can get paint sponges and they're a little bit larger but you can certainly cut them down to size in your um, hardware store or, or a building supply store. Um, you can also get little boxes of these in your arts and crafts stores. You also can go to one of your local dollar stores and just get these inexpensive sponges that have the scrubby side on one side and the spongy side on the other. And um, I have a square one and a round one because the square one can leave you with kind of corners on your work. And I just dip these in the paint. I'm going to show you up close in just a second. The other thing I would challenge you to do is just walk around, look at things, and try to choose what you think would make a great texture. So a lot of people, and, and whether you're painting the walls or whether you're painting rocks, people will use a wadded up paper towel, newspaper, binder paper. Um, I really love to use a little bit of bubble wrap because when you paint on it, then it gives a very dotted look all over the place, but it's a texture background. So I'm going to show you up close some of these things and then we'll turn those into great 4th of July rocks for you. Start with a palette. If you've been watching Crafters Countdown's videos, you know that we love being kind to the environment. So a repurposed calendar page is perfect for this job. You could use a sponge or paintbrush to dab onto your texture tool or dip it directly into the paint on your palette. They'll each create a slightly different effect, so have fun and experiment. We are using a stencil for the design on this rock, just like we taught in our Father's Day rock video. After painting the star white, I went around it in blue and red to give it more depth. I felt it still needed something and opted to use the stylus or dotting tool to put red dots inside the star. I think the result was super fun. Next, we have the little pieces I cut off of a dish scrubby sponge from a $1 store. You want to press lightly at first, you can always add more later. As the paint gets used up from the sponge, you can press harder to maintain the effect. Anytime you're layering colors, be sure to let each dry before going on to the next color so you don't create a muddy look. We also showed you in our Father's Day Rock video how to apply designs from napkins using Mod Podge. If you need tips on how to do that, be sure and check out the video on our Crafters Countdown YouTube channel. And here we're using the artist's sponges to create a great textured background. It's best to get the sponge wet and then wring it out really well before using it. This keeps the sponge from absorbing too much of your paint. The design was added using a stencil and then painted in. 
We showed you how to use the paint pens in our Mother's Day Rock video. They are perfect for lettering and outlining. So we've created some really fun 4th of July rocks together and I've shown you ways that you can use the stylus dotting tool in order to make some mandalas or add little accents to the sides of your rocks and stuff. Make sure you subscribe and hit that little bell so that you get notifications when we put our videos up because next month as we continue to count down the days of summer we're going to be taking interesting shaped rocks. A lot of us can't find those perfectly smooth, wonderfully round or ovate river rocks near where we live. So um, you can find some really interesting rocks and do some really fun stuff with them. So that's what we're going to focus on for next month. Thanks so much for joining us and I hope that you'll continue to keep painting rocks for the Kindness Rock Project. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.